good afternoon. So good afternoon and welcome you back for the uh, faculty development program. So on behalf of our uh, Department of Civil Engineering, I'm very happy to introduce uh, uh, Dr. B. Arun Sundaram uh, to the participants. Uh, Dr. B. Arun Sundaram is uh, presently uh, Principal Scientist at CSIR, Structural Engineering Research Centre. Uh, he did his uh, undergraduation in B. in Civil Engineering in the year 2006 from Crescent Engineering College and also M.E. in Structural Engineering uh, from Crescent Engineering College in the year 2008. He has completed his PhD in Structural Engineering in the year 2016 from Anna University, Chennai. His research areas of interest include structural health monitoring, analytical investigations, real field applications, sensors and instrumentation. He is uh, uh, presently is working on the development of technologies using fiber optic sensors and artificial intelligence for Indian railways for the monitoring of uh, high-speed railway bridges. He has carried out uh, several industrial projects on condition assessment and performance evaluation of various structures. To name a few, J. Prakash Narayan Setu across River Ganga at Patna, a road come railway bridge of length approximately 4.5 kilometers, Palmban Bridge connecting the Indian uh, mainland and Palmban Island, testing and inspection of the new reactor containment building for IG car Kalpakam. He has been recognized with many awards and uh, he has been awarded as Outstanding Structural Engineer by the, by the Indian Association of Structural Engineers. He has been recognized as a promising civil engineer by the Hindu Tamil and Ramco Simmons. Uh, to his credit, he has published around 45 papers in various international journals and conferences and over 100 te technical reports. And uh, he has involved himself uh, in various R&D projects as a team leader during the past five years. To name a few, uh, development of risk-based methodologies for inspection and maintenance, scheduling of RCC as well as pre-stressed concrete structural components. And also he has uh, involved himself um, in the development of structural health monitoring schemes for civil engineering infrastructure in India using smart sensing technologies which is a part of NPM ASS program and also uh, he is involved himself in the robust uh, structural health monitoring technologies for critical infrastructure management which is a CSIR mission mode project. In addition to that as a team leader he is involved in the Empower project uh, which is uh, a novel scheme for damage reduction in railway tracks for accident prevention. Uh, so which is under the encouraging and motivating pursuit of world class exploratory research scheme. So we have the right person here today to share his expertise with you. So I am very much happy on behalf of all of you to welcome Dr. B. Arun Sundaram to this FDP program. Welcome you sir. Now I hand over the session to Dr. B. Arun Sundaram sir. Good afternoon everyone. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Kubudanam for uh, HOD Civil Engineering for uh, inviting me for this uh, uh, Atal sponsored uh, faculty development program. So I will be talking on uh, how uh, like structured health monitoring applications. So this uh, I think is FTB is on construction automation and robotics towards sustainable infrastructure. So in that uh, when you are talking about sustainable uh, infrastructure, then we need to have uh, proper maintenance or monitoring whatever infrastructures we are doing. So, so I'll be talking about uh, structural health monitoring and uh, what are the applications, how we are developing technologies for uh, health monitoring. So these are the contents like uh, I'll be starting with uh, about my organization ACRC. So how many of you know about ACRC here? So only two or three people will be knowing about ACRC. So I will tell briefly about what is ACRC, what are different uh, areas we are working. And then I will uh, go to overview of structural health uh, Are you aware of uh, structural health monitoring? Students are aware of structural health monitoring. So students are from uh, BE or uh, ME? BE. 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 In the uh, final year or uh, third year? First year. First year. Okay, okay. 
So, for, uh, I'll talk briefly about uh, what is structural health monitoring, how we are doing structural health monitoring, and what we are developing under structural health monitoring. And then, uh, for structural health monitoring, we need some sensors to work upon. So, as a civil engineer, you'll be thinking only with uh, cement, concrete, uh, steel. So, those kind of materials only is uh, all about uh, civil engineering. But there are some areas in civil engineering where we go for uh, interdisciplinary work, like uh, we will be taking some sensors or from input from uh, other branches of uh, engineering like uh, electronics or computer science, electrical engineering. So we will be applying those technologies for uh, civil engineering applications. So mainly uh, structural health monitoring needs uh, contribution from different uh, engineering disciplines so that we can go for uh, proper uh, application of that one. Then in, uh, as a part of uh, the structural uh, health monitoring, I will tell about the uh, different sensors, what you are using, and different uh, techniques like remote health monitoring, wireless sensor networks. So how we are using the electronics uh, uh, discipline to our uh, civil engineering application, so those things I will tell. And what are the problems which you are having and I will give some open challenges so that uh, over interested they can work on uh, such areas. Uh, they are very new and interesting topics for uh, your own uh, research or working on your projects like that. And then I will present some case studies like uh, wherever we are applied uh, this uh, health monitoring or performance journey. So how we are uh, uh, judging whether the structure will be suitable for the loading or not. So few case studies I will tell you. Uh, that uh, I, will, uh, I will just take you and briefly I will present how, uh, what is uh, the structure and what I am doing here. So when you talk about uh, ACRC, we have uh, 10 different labs at ACRC. Uh, ACRC is uh, like Structural Engineering Research Centre distributed in Tharamani we are having. So this is a CSIR lab. Like, uh, so first uh, CSIR is... Uh, so CSIR is having uh, a, a, a different uh, labs in different disciplines like electronics, civil engineering or uh, whatever field, mechanical and even from uh, biological sciences and material sciences also. So we are situated uh, throughout India in different uh, parts of the country and different disciplines. So in that we have for civil engineering, we have three labs like uh, CBRI is there, Central Building Research Institute is there, CRRI is there, Road Research Institute and ACRC and for uh, Structural Engineering. So ACRC is situated in uh, Taramani. So here, uh, what are the facilities we are having at ACRC is we have uh, around 10 different uh, labs we are working at ACRC like uh, starting from uh, concrete testing, Structural health monitoring is there, seismic testing facility is there, advanced concrete material, tower testing uh, research is there. So here we do uh, research on different techniques, uh, concrete means we do on materials, development of new materials, structural health monitoring is my lab is there, <coughs> and seismic testing is for uh, mainly for earthquake resistant design and uh, uh, performance structures, advanced materials lab is there, tower testing mainly for uh, transmission line tower testing, we are having exclusive lab for that. And then we have a special multifunctional, uh, different kinds of materials for uh, civil engineering like from nano materials we have. We have wind engineering laboratory, uh, FITIC and fracture laboratory for studying on FITIC studies on different components. And then we have theoretical uh, competition group like where we do some theoretical analysis like uh, finite element analysis and different numerical simulations we do in that lab. And we have steel structures laboratory for uh, particularly for working on the development of steel structures. So mainly we focus on uh, different aspects like uh, basic and applied research is there. And then we go for uh, different societal developments we will be working. We will be working for industrial research and consultancy and for uh, military or strategic application. So these are the four main areas where we are working at uh, CRC. And coming to our structural health monitoring lab, uh, what we are doing at uh, health monitoring is, one is like uh, instrumentation techniques for uh, sensor development. Like we apply different kinds of sensors for uh, developing the instrumentation techniques like uh, where to put the sensor, what kind of sensor we have to put, what are different parameters we have to take from the structure. Like that we develop for individual, because nowadays we are having uh, all our imported sensors we are using for uh, performance solution. So what we are doing is we are developing to uh, trying to develop some indigenous sensor like uh, uh, like India um, export substitution mainly. So we develop our own sensors depending upon our requirements and uh, smart wireless sensors are there. And where we apply these techniques is for bridges and infrastructure, mainly for uh, testing of bridges, whether the bridge is suitable for uh, the new loading, because nowadays bridges are uh, designed for 100 years, so after the 20, 30 years, there will be increase in the load will be there, degradation of the bridges or materials will happen. So whether all the bridges are safe for carrying those loads, so for that uh, condition assessment performance, we will be using uh, these techniques here. And then for uh, pipeline structures, not only for bridges, also for the pipeline, like uh, cross-country pipeline, oil and gas pipelines will be running, uh, buried uh, in the soil, it will be crossing some canals. So uh, we have to check the um, corrosion, 
or any leakages happening in the pipeline. So for that we are developing some techniques so that we can monitor the buried pipeline. Because bridges at least we can see it will be on the above the soil or above the ground. But these pipelines will run below the soil. So we cannot be able to visually see these pipelines also. So for monitoring those pipelines such as we are developing techniques. And then uh, this kind of uh, damage reduction because uh, we will be taking uh, many parameters from the sensor. So we need to analyze these parameters whether then only we can tell whether it is uh, safe or not. So for that we have some uh, damage uh, reduction techniques or uh, damage uh, identification algorithms we are developing. So as part of that work we are doing different uh, algorithm development techniques are there for uh, detecting the damage and the localization. So where the damages uh, occur, which place, whether how, uh, how long it will be able to take the load coming in the bridges. So these are the main uh, uh, broad areas where we are working in this uh, structural health monitoring laboratory. So here you can see different uh, kinds of structures we are testing, like from these are all the uh, <coughs> supporting structures in industrial power plants is there. And here you can see uh, the pipeline success which we are doing for uh, testing during uh, lowering of the pipeline. And then here you can see different uh, railway bridges we are testing and giving the uh, certification or uh, whether it is uh, okay or not for carrying the uh, loads or uh, whatever load that is coming on the bridge, whether it is uh, satisfying the criteria or not. So for different uh, wide uh, areas we are applying these uh, SHM techniques for uh, the industries and uh, field visits. So these are uh, different areas which we are working, like uh, <coughs> different uh, for uh, precious uh, bridges we are carrying out uh, some techniques for evaluating the uh, what is the stress that is coming in the pre uh, precious structures and lowering of uh, in-service gas pipeline. Uh, when even the pipeline is under service, uh, even though the gas is flowing, we will be lowering the pipeline without stopping the gas flow. So during that process we are carrying out the monitoring. And then uh, performance evaluation of railway bridges, uh, development of remote health uh, monitoring scheme for structures. So these are different uh, areas which uh, we are working in uh, structural health monitoring lab. So these are uh, different uh, clients which we are uh, working. And these are the different facilities which we have in our laboratory, like uh, starting from uh, the data acquisition systems. So these data systems are required for uh, getting the data from whatever sensors we are putting in the structure. And different kinds of sensors we are using for uh, getting the parameters. So I'll be covering what are the different sensors and data systems we are using. And, uh, and different uh, like uh, the equipment for in situ stress measurement, blind hole drilling, load cell displacement transducer. So there are different varieties of sensors. So once we have these kind of uh, uh, equipments and uh, sensors only we can carry out uh, full comprehensive uh, structural health monitoring or for any bridges or any kind of structure. So these are uh, different uh, equipments or sensors which we are using at our lab. And we have a uh, field visit uh, vehicle is there. So where it is, comes with all UPS generator and uh, network uh, communication facility also. So we'll take this vehicle, we'll keep it at the site and then we'll carry out uh, all the measurement. And all the measurement will be coming to our office so that we can post process it and we can uh, go for uh, recommendations. So now uh, we will start about uh, what is uh, structural health monitoring. So first, uh, structural health monitoring, uh, that is uh, what it involves is, one first is health monitoring. Like uh, what is the present condition of the structure. So it starts with that uh, assessment. Like we will be carrying out some uh, measurement in the structure and we will assess whether the structure is suitable or not for the present requirement. Like what are the load or what are the speed of the vehicle that is passing on the bridge or considering the uh, material properties or degradation in the bridges. So that is first one is uh, uh, health monitoring. Then operation evaluation, that is whether the, the whatever parameters which we are evaluating, like the bending moment or shear force, what is the deflection that is coming, whether that is within the permissible limit for the bridges, that we will be checking. And then data feature extraction is like uh, we will be extracting some uh, data from the whatever uh, measurements we are making. Like basic parameter, uh, what we will be measuring is like uh, we will measure strain, we will measure displacement, like the displacement, how much under the load, how much it is bending. Uh, the bridges, how much it is bending, and we'll get other parameters like uh, bending moment, shear forces, uh, or the reaction of uh, force that is coming to the foundation. So those kind of parameters will be extracting from the uh, data which we are uh, measuring. Then statistical model development, like uh, statistical model development, we'll be using mathematics for uh, modeling the different parameters in the bridge. So that will give future prediction. Like after 10 years what will happen to the bridge or after 20 years what will happen to the bridge. So we will have some statistics. Like now, nowadays we are there forecasting the rainfall or anything, we will be using statistics. So they will uh, collect all the previous information data 
and they will make it trend like what will happen in the future after 10 years or when the load is increasing so what will happen so that will be giving the statistical model development and if you see wherever we can apply this uh, SHM techniques is like uh, high rise buildings you can use bridges you can use tunnels wind generators and practically any uh, important structure so we need to apply these kind of techniques for getting the uh, proper or useful information from the structure and uh, if you see the parameters which you are measuring is uh, we will be measuring the vibration parameter or acceleration so how much uh, vibration that is coming in the bridges so i think you would have felt when you are going on a bridge or when you are going in the car you will have some vibration because of your uh, movement so how much vibration that is coming in the bridge whether that is within the limit or not so those parameters we can take strain displacement uh, the other climatic parameters like what is the temperature what is the humidity or whether it is a corrosion uh, environment is happening or not so those kind of parameters so we will be measuring from the uh, bridges so the importance of uh, structural thermodynamics so why we have to go for uh, these kind of uh, structural thermodynamics once you have uh, taken we have built the bridge we can uh, leave it as it is for uh, the daily uh, activities or uh, for carrying the whatever loads it is the same so why we have to apply these kind of uh, structural thermodynamics is one is to ensure the safety and functionality of it whether the structure is behaving perfectly as per the design or not whether whatever load is coming that is the deflection is coming that is the stress or what is the force coming so for ensuring that safety and serviceability we have to carry out this kind of uh, SHM technique and again uh, next is like uh, condition monitoring and assessment is required for planning the maintenance activities so whether uh, there is some uh, higher stress or higher strain is coming then we have to ca immediately carry out the maintenance work like we have to strengthen some members or we have to carry out uh, some painting or some other any whatever uh, repair work is required so for taking that decision we have to carry out uh, this uh, monitoring or performance evaluation and also for carrying out the structural repairs and uh, restoration so <clears throat> because suppose it is damaged fully then we have to spend more time and we have to stop traffic on that bridge so uh, before if you are getting the knowledge that it is going to uh, get damaged in the near future we can uh, carry out some proactive measures so that that cost can be reduced here and we can go for uh, embedment of sensor during the uh, construction stage itself like uh, when you are seeing here uh, we can put these sen uh, different sensors are there so these sensors we can put inside the concrete or inside uh, on the surface of steel during the erection time itself so that we will be getting what is the temperature or what is the concrete strength here. so those kind of parameters we can extract uh, from day one of uh, this uh, <coughs> when you starting the service of uh, these bridges so these are some of the advantages of uh, deploying the structural health monitoring here Suppose if you are not uh, feeling well, what we will be doing is we will be visiting a uh, doctor for uh, our own. So suppose you are feeling well, if you are not feeling well, we will be going to doctor. So what doctor do? He will be checking us and he will be monitoring our different parameters like uh, suppose the pressure or sugar levels or what is the temperature if you are having fever. So like the doctor examines us and then he gives some uh, medicines to us. Suppose you are having, you want to take some more testing like uh, blood test or other test you want to take some x you want to take. Then, then after that, seeing the results, you will be uh, prescribing some, some more medicines or some other treatment. So similarly, uh, for our buildings also, so we have to monitor the structure. So first level of, uh, we will be ch checking the uh, structure is like visual inspection, like uh, the doctor checks our pulse uh, or what is the temperature in our body. So like that, we will be carrying out the visual inspection initially. Then we will be, uh, like he is prescribing some more test uh, or additional test for understanding what is the reason behind our illness. Similarly, we will be doing some test. So, we will be putting some sensors on that. We will be apply some load on the structure. We will measure some parameter like deflection or force or stress. And then we will be uh, finding what are the way that uh, deflection is coming, how much force that is coming, that like that. We will evaluate. And then we will give for recommendation. Like doctor will give the treatment. We will be giving for uh, recommendation for retrofitting or repair. Or whether if you want to stop the traffic also, we will be stopping. So this is the, uh, similar to our human health. We need to monitor the structure's health also. It is our civil engineering job is not uh, <coughs> stopped only immediately after the construction or putting it in the service. So even during the maintenance, we have to see the structure. Similar to our health, we have to monitor the health of the structure also. And if you see uh, structural health monitoring here, uh, we have uh, two broad uh, uh, types or two broad categories will be there. So one is NDT, or taking the non-destructive testing. <clears throat> that is, it will give the qualitative information on the structure. 
whether the, the what is the quality of the content, whether it's good or bad, or uh, what is the corrosion uh, happening inside, or what is the carbonation that is happening inside. So those kind of qualitative information that we will be getting from a non-destructive or in-situ <coughs> evolution. That is similar to a doctor checking our pulse uh, or our temperature, you will be checking. So out of that, you can qualitatively tell that there is a problem in the bridge. Like doctor will tell that is a, your uh, uh, temperature is more than 100, so you are having some fever or your pulse is more or your uh, pressure or something is more like that, you will be detecting something. So apart from that, we have to go for uh, putting the sensors and getting the responses. That is similar to what our test or additional test that the doctor prescribes. So from the test, you will be getting uh, additional uh, knowledge about the structure. So these are the, uh, the two uh, uh, different categories of uh, structural health monitoring here. So from uh, combining these two things, like uh, this one, we will be doing visual inspection and qualitative analysis. Here you will be getting the quantitative numbers, how much is the exact numbers of the deflection or the stress or force, so this thing, those things we will be getting here. So combining these two, we will be uh, ensuring the structural safety, strength, integrity or uh, performance of the structure we will be getting from the these kind of uh, SHM techniques here. So <coughs> already I have told like uh, wherever we can apply these SHM is like uh, Starting with this uh, structural health monitoring, basically they started from aerospace structure. So when they started monitoring the aircraft wings uh, and other space structures, they started from aerospace structure. So slowly we also got adopted that our structures also has to be monitored or needs to be monitored. So that we started applying these SHM uh, techniques here. So starting from aircraft space structures, we started applying for civil infrastructure like uh, long span bridges, dams, highway systems, buildings. <coughs> Not the smaller building, especially high-rise high buildings or uh, large uh, malls or uh, large complexes. So such buildings here, towers, uh, offshore platforms, power plant structures and uh, tunnels and uh, pipelines mm -hmm. and other pile foundations also. And also for uh, land or marine structures like uh, submarines or other ships, uh, those things you can see. And on the machinery also, like rotating machinery like uh, windmills or engines or any uh, power plant structure, rotating structures, on those also we can carry out this uh, SHM data. So we have a broad uh, application area for this SHM and uh, there is uh, so much of requir uh, requirement also for SHM engineers. So there are lack of many people or many experts working in this uh, area of, or in this domain, particularly for uh, structural health monitoring. So the, the SHM, like how we are go, uh, going to do for a structure is starting from the diagnosis and go up to prognosis. So diagnosis is, we are finding that there is a defect or there is a problem in the structure, that is diagnosis. Like we will be identifying the what is the damage, localization is which place or which part of the bridge that is having a problem or damage in the structure and then quantification. So how much uh, is the damage that has occurred? Whether uh, if suppose in a bridge you are taking there are uh, some uh, there are ten bolts in that uh, two or three bolt has uh, sheared or just uh, damaged due to corrosion, <coughs> or reverse it is getting damaged or welds that is having failure.